most of my flying has been straight and level on cross-country flights. And while I love to go places in my Bonanza, there's a whole nother way of flying which so far I know very little about. Aerobatics. I do love roller coasters though, so when an opportunity presented itself recently to get a little taste of aerobatics flying, I couldn't resist. Come along and I'll show you how that went. One of the many people I met at the first ACCA Aviation Content Creator Awards weekend was Scott Perdue, a retired F-15 and airline pilot who brought an F-33C to Stearman Field in Kansas. That's a beefed up version of the Bonanza, which is certified for aerobatics. Scott also has a YouTube channel called Flywire. Needless to say, I could not turn down Scott's invitation to try some aerobatics in his airplane. So we put the parachutes on and got ready for our flight. A word of warning here. This video is in no way intending to replace flight instruction. I want to share the experience with you, but make no mistake, if this makes you curious to try a little aerobatics yourself, and I hope it does, then you absolutely need to work with a flight instructor who knows how to do this safely, and do it in an airplane approved for the maneuvers you want to try. Doing this right is a lot of fun, doing it any other way can kill you. Now to get out of this thing, we're going to use these words, these one word three times, bail out, bail out, bail out. Okay. And if we, if I use that word, okay, that means you forget everything else except for we're getting out of the airplane. Okay. Okay. So if I use that word, what I want you to do first is get rid of your headset. Okay. Throw it down on the floor, throw it in the back seat, I don't care. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this handle right here and that releases these pins that hold the door and the door is just going to fly away. Got it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave, okay. which is I'm going to grab on the sides of the, uh, yep. the frame and I'm going to crawl out. Gives me time wing. to collect all the GoPros and... Yeah, I guess yeah. if that's what you want to do, because I'm not I'm gone. <laughs> Bonanza 33 Charlie taking the active 17 Stearman. Mixture prop, throttle to go, flap set, cow flap set, trim set. Runway is clear. Runway is clear, all right, you have the airplane. I have plane. Okay, so we hold the brakes until we get full power. Okay, power set. Right. SP live. Little positive back pressure, we get it airborne. The 60. Alright, pause rate, gears up. It's easier for me, I'll do it. Accelerate to 90. About 90, right. 90. Flaps are coming and going to get a little bit of a sag. Now we just cl uh, cruise climb. I would turn uh, we uh, east from here and uh, we're just going to climb up to about 5,500 feet. Okay. Yeah, it feels very familiar from the A36. Yeah, and that's one reason why I like this airplane to do the upset recovery course because we don't have to get over all the differences. This is the same airplane people are used to flying. Even Cessnas or any or Pipers, you know, you still sit this way, you still fly this way. It looks the same, feels the same. I used to do it in an extra 300L, and uh, it's so different. People don't, they, they spend time, you know, thinking about all the differences than they do. Actually learning something. So we're going to do uh, aileron rolls, and we're going to do a split S, because those are pretty benign, and uh, we a deep stall if you like. We can get really get into stall. Oh, what do you think? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Don't try this at home. I got a 4G butt now. I didn't. The airplane stressed to six and minus three. We don't do negative, number one. But I also don't do six Gs. We do. That's the most we do when we do those in a loop. Anything over the over the top, we do it four Gs. But we're not doing over the top today. Yeah. And you know when I when I watch an air show, what what I most admire is how smooth the, the pros can do it. Yeah. Right. I, I'm sure on a roller coaster ride, it's fun when you get jerked around, but I I always think the the real finesse is when you when you do it without overstressing the airplane and without stressing you too much. Exactly. I, I totally agree with that. It's not quite how you fly a fighter. You use uh, you use uh, rapid roll rates and high G onset rates, but. Uh, uh, I believe in 
lower drama. You know, let's let's be smooth and efficient about it, and uh, it's just a better way to fly. All right, I don't see any traffic. It's clearing turns. Let's turn to the north, and uh, what we'll do is uh, we'll just jump right into an aileron roll, and I'll demo it. I'd like you to follow through with me. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull the nose up to about 20 degrees. Every airplane will drop the nose during a roll. It doesn't matter how fast you roll, it's still going to drop. It just may not drop as far if you have a really fast roll. So we're trying to minimize our nose drop. And in this airplane, it's about 40 degrees. So if we pull it up about 20, we're going to end up about 20 low. Okay. We'll pull it up and then we unload the airplane. You know, okay. it's not pushing it to negative, but we just take the positive off of it. You know, so neutralize the elevator. And then we're going to roll. So it, the roll is also a little bit of rudder. You still you use rudder. Okay. Uh, in, the, in the airplane. And then we're going to roll it around. Once we roll out and wings level, we'll be pointed downhill. Then we recover. Okay. So we're going to add G to recover the airplane. Do you hold aileron and rudder pretty much constant the whole way yeah. around? all the way around. Okay. Yeah. All right, you ready? I'm ready. Your airplane, I'll just... Uh... I, I have the airplane. If you just follow through with me, what we're going to do is we're going to accelerate to about 145, 150 okay. in that range. Okay, there's 150. So nice gentle pull, a little less than 2 G's, about 20 degrees up, unload, left rudder, left aileron, roll it around the horizon, and then uh, we're le leveling out the wings, boom, and recover. Oh, that's fun. All right. So you're doing okay? Yeah. Is it good? That was fun. All right, now it's your turn. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a turn to put us on a westerly heading to line up with some of these roads and uh, then you're going to do the same thing. Accelerate, nose down to accelerate to about 145, 150, pull it up to about 20 degrees, unload it, and then roll it. Okay. Alright, you ready? If anything doesn't look right, please oh, jump I will. in. Okay. I will. Okay, so accelerate, 150. There we go. Start pulling it up. About 20 degrees. Pull, pull, pull. Pull, pull, unload. Unload. Rudder. There you go. Excellent. Excellent. Good use of the rudder as well. Tad early on the falling out of the wings, but not bad. Very good. That was fun. That was excellent. <laughs> yeah. I like it. Yeah. Let's do one. Again, this time, you want to do it to the right? A little okay. bit different? Okay. So, nose over. Let's get to 145, 150. All right, 150, pull it up, 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 pull, 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 very good, pull, unload, a little more, there you go, very good, nice rate, keep it coming, keep it coming, keep it coming, now we'll roll out, now we'll pull cover, excellent, good job, so you're into this, and we never got, uh, never got over 2G, yeah, no. <laughs> not a big deal, is it? All right, so let's, uh, you want to do another one or two of those, or you want to go into a split S? Let's try a split S. All right, let's climb up a little bit, uh, I don't know, about three or 400 feet, and what I'm going to do is uh, keep climbing. I'm going to pull the power back, because I'd like to be about 100 knots-ish when we do this. We're not going to spend much time inverted, but I also don't, let me, I'll demo it for you. Stay with me on the controls, but I have the airplane. Okay, your airplane. At about 18 inches. I don't want to get too fast on the other side. I don't want to have to pull an awful lot of G to do this. Uh, so we want to start at a lower speed. So this is the half roll? And this is the half roll. We're going to half roll. I'm going to pause inverted, but not very long. And uh, there's a nose is dropping the whole time. Boom. And then we're going to pull it through. And that is a split S. We That's pulled four G's. Four How'd G's. you do? You okay? I'm okay, yeah. Alright. So I figure we do, we do, you do a split S, or maybe two, and uh, then we do some stalls. Okay. Does that sound? That's good. What I want you to feel is uh, how to reattach that boundary layer. Okay. What does it feel like? What is the airplane talking to you? How is it talking to you? And how to reattach the boundary layer. All right, you ready? All right, so pull it up a little bit. 
Pause it, unload it, roll it. Pause it, now pull through. There you go, keep pulling a little harder, a little harder. There you go, good, good, excellent. Excellent. That's a split S. It's not that difficult once you've seen it, once yeah. somebody explained it to you. Yeah, and, and you, you kind of do it mechanically. You know, you do it in, in phases, if you will. You know, it's yeah. this part of the maneuver, that part of the maneuver. After you've done it for a while, it kind of blends in and you can do it fluidly. But it's like anything, when you learn it, you got to do it by rote and then you get you get better. So, that was good. You want to do another one? Let's move on to the stalls. Okay. I, I don't know how much of this my stomach can handle. Absolutely. So, uh, That's why I keep asking you. to get you. through with the program. That's why I keep asking because I don't want to exceed your uh, tolerance level. Do a little clear turn to the right. We'll go westerly. Our We've heard that. We don't have the gear. We're just going to do a stall. I'm going to kill the gear warning. Oh, you have a switch for that. That's yeah. good. Otherwise, it gets really annoying. All right, so what I want you to do is maintain your attitude and let that sink, because that is energy. We don't put energy in the airplane. We want to stop. There you go. Keep pulling it back. And what you're going to get is a verbal. We're going to get that feel. We're going to go all the way to the brake. You're going to use your feet. Never use the other ones unless you're using your feet first. Okay, that's the warning, three to five knots. There's the brake, so just, yeah, right there. Rare, awesome, I like it, I like it. What we're doing right here is a falling leaf, very good. We're doing a falling leaf, and when I teach aerobatics, this is what we teach you is, you stall the airplane, you're still flying it. But you're stalled, all right? So, you get the burble, the brake, now just relax the back pressure a little bit, and we're flying again. That warning horn, by certification standards, is three to five knots above the actual stall. Real good, let's do one, one more. I love the fact that you're not using the aileron at all. You're using the rudder. That's okay, don't worry about it. That is, it's a, uh, it's an inertia issue of the wings, the way the wings are constructed, that eventually we're gonna get into a pretty wild gyration if we do try to keep it in a falling leaf. Right. There's some airplanes that are fantastic in the stalling leaf. Uh, falling leaf. It's like the Sturman. It's just fantastic. But the, uh, it's great teaching spins too. This airplane's good at spins, but it's not great at teaching them. Everything happens so fast. Very good. Excellent. See, and it's all about timing there when you get out of the rudder. You had good full rudder, but you don't leave it there. It reacts. So that's what it's all about. But it just shows you that, you know, you can be in a full stall or situation or very close to it and you're still flying the airplane. Yep. All you have to do to recover is, is you relax the back pressure. The, the difference between flying, the wing flying and the wing not flying is one degree. So you don't actually have to push it over very far to get the airplane flying again. But the uh, France 447 pilots needed to know. They needed to know that, yeah. And they didn't do that, they just held it in the stall. You know, the ugly truth of the, that is, is the other side of that coin is the guy in Houston who he's thought he was stalling and he's pushing forward and he's not he's hauling ass yeah. it was just absolutely wrong now we're on the feather edge of slow flight give me a turn about left and no more than about 15 degrees of bank can't give up too much energy here this is the ultimate slow flight right It's all with the rudder. You don't need to move the aileron one bit. Exactly. You know, if you get the airplane trimmed up real well in pitch, you can hand fly it by just using pressure on the rudder. It's roll due to yaw. Good, you got a good feel for the airplane. Almost like a Noah Beach. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to feel just a little bit uneasy, maybe. It's all right. I'll uh, head back home. Yeah. Yes, in the end, this was more than my stomach could handle. But it was a lot of fun. And hopefully, one day I'll have access to an airplane in which I can learn more of this. I hope this was a fun demonstration and please remember, do not try this without help from a flight instructor with aerobatics experience. If you like this video, please hit like and subscribe. And if you want to support this channel further, you can now do so through Patreon. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.